Hi. Hi. Can you be in school? It's my free period. Oh, great. Hey, any break you can get, right? Come sit down. Great. So how are you getting along at, uh, at Brooks? She's a kick, right? Uh, well, I think I can probably go a hundred years and never describe her quite like that. Not a happy match. Well, Myrtle's was great, you know. I mean, the only reason why I met Brooks is because some stupid judge thinks I'm a helpless baby. Isn't there some place that you're supposed to be, like school? It's her free period. Well, the secretary from the school called and was wondering why you weren't in your algebra class. Well, see, my, um, my regular algebra teacher is off on this um, family thing, so we're stuck with this really lame substitute. So that's reason to blow off algebra? Totally. I mean, subs are just space fillers. They're just glorified babysitters. Gee, that's encouraging. I'll be starting my career as a uh, space filler. Uh, I didn't mean you. Well, that's how I'm going to start, as a substitute. Well, you're cool. I mean, you'll be different. No, I'll be what that substitute is. A teacher who's just trying to do her best with students who think she's not worth hanging with. Come on, don't you think you could give her a chance? Don't you think you should be going? Look, Janet's trial starts today, and I have to be there. Laura, I thought we settled this last night. I don't want to add to your pain. I know that you're worried about Janet, but if she's convicted, your being there is not going to help either one of you. You're just like everybody else. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Look, Brooke is just trying to spare you some grief. Janet is the one who is suffering. I mean, you, you should have seen her face when she thought Pierce and I believed she was guilty. Janet's all alone in this world, and I know what that's like. She at least deserves to have somebody there. Do you really believe she's innocent? I don't know. But I do know that she would want me there, and I want to be there for her. So, look, I'm sorry. I know school's important, but this is something that I have to do. Don't I ever get a break? Nobody believes me. Not Pierce, not Laura, not even my own attorney. How could that be? Your inventive use of crowbars? Your penchant for violent threats and creative follow-through? I didn't do it. This time, no. But you tried before, didn't you? Not once. Not twice, but three times. I didn't kill her. You're gonna fry this time. Don't say that. Who's gonna save you? You fired your lawyer, and the charge is murder one. Who'd be crazy enough to defend you? Just shut up. What did you say? What? N nothing. I was talking to myself. What do you want? A favor? Well, as you can see, I'm not in a position to do any favors. Not even for Laura. What is it? Is she all right? She's fine. She's going to come to your trial. So? So she's skipping school to do it. And she's bound to be upset and hurt by all the testimony. So what do you want me to do about it? Tell her not to come. Tell her that it's not going to serve any useful purpose. Not serve any useful purpose? <laughs> I guess it's not enough that I lost a man that you want to make sure I lose Laura, too. What? I've... You get everything. And everyone. First Pierce, and now Laura. Well, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Do you hear me? Laura's the last thing I've got. I need her at that trial. And I wouldn't tell her to stay away for all the world. And especially not for you. I had no idea that you felt this way. Well, now you do. Janet, I have no intention of trying to take your place with Laura. Please don't worry. Oh, you're worried about me now. You're concerned. I can just understand why you would be upset. Aren't you nice? And sweet and good. Why, you're almost perfect, Brooke. Like a saint. Or better yet, like my revered sister, Saint Natalie. Why don't you just get mad at me like everybody else? 
Because I'll never forget that you saved my son's life. No wonder Pierce dumped you for her. She's one hot looking babe. Pierce didn't dump me. As proven by his constant visits. Letters and flowers. Wake up, loser. The writing's on the wall. You're out, she's in. You don't know everything. I know enough, Miss Pathetico. She may have set her sights on Pierce, but she hasn't won him over yet. And she sure as hell isn't gonna get her hands on Laura. Surprised, Adam? No, no, I'm filled with admiration. You have the tenacity of a Labrador retrieving a dead duck. Janet's innocent until proven otherwise. The woman is out of her mind. Maybe you haven't heard yet. But in a fit of pique, she just fired her attorney. She's representing herself. I can't wait to see her get herself on the stand for the witness box relay. Finally, a friendly face. You okay? Shall we go in? Um, I see my friends. Ah, uh, I'm not very high up there in the teen polls. Well, you're still ranked very high in mine. This is a tough time for Laura. I want to thank you for bringing her down here, letting her miss school. I'm not sure if I'm doing her a favor. Yes, you are. She needs to be here. You know, it'll mean everything to Janet. Approach the bench, both of you. Welcome. I have to go. You're chasing after Pierce. Something is obviously wrong. The man is touched in the hand. If his relationship with Janet doesn't prove it, you saw him come unglued just Adam, now. he may be sick. That's putting it charitably. I don't know exactly what happened in there, but he is obviously in trouble, and I have to find him. 